Earlier this year, Roseville Environmental Utilities launched an exciting contest, Sustain the Gains. And what we're doing is we're changing her water guzzling front yard into a water efficient landscape. To remind customers of rebates and programs to use water wisely and ultimately build a sustainable front yard garden that demonstrates how you can have a beautiful landscape that both reduces overall water consumption and maximizes the water that is used to keep a landscape thriving and the surrounding environment sustainable. Roseville staff reviewed all residents' entries one by one, and after sifting through more than 3,200 entries, Debbie and Kurt, 23-year Roseville residents, were selected as winners. And Debbie and Kurt Nelson stood out because they embodied customers who had taken extraordinary steps to reduce water use both indoor and outdoor during the historic drought just a few years ago. We did several things to save water. Um, we always put out rain buckets to fill when we had rain as far as the runoff on the, the gutters. We filled milk bottles, we just kept empty milk bottles and we used to, when the water was getting hot, when you're waiting for water to get hot in the shower or the sink, doing dishes, whatever, we always filled those and watered our plants with them. Once Debbie and Kurt were announced winners, the work to transition their yard began. Roseville hired Cheryl Buckwalter, a landscape designer skilled at creating sustainable, environmentally friendly landscapes. We met with the Nelsons so that we could learn about what they wanted to see, what their likes and dislikes were, and if they had any preferences like that. The landscape design called for starting with an entirely clean slate. All existing plants, shrubs, trees, and grass were removed. And in their place, more than 140 plants were ultimately installed. Every plant in this landscape is a low water use plant. The idea of removing turf is not only about saving water, but also about reducing pollutants that would otherwise enter the storm drain from sprinkler and rain runoff. Um, there's quite a bit of a slope in our landscape, and so what we are doing is adding a couple of berms and rain gardens so that when it does rain or when she does irrigate, there's no runoff into the street or into the storm drain. In addition to capturing water, the new landscape also acknowledges California's Mediterranean climate. This type of design is, is for me what I, I consider correct because you're actually considering nature, the cycle of nature in the landscape, so it has to be able to sustain itself so we, we don't use that many resources. So this is much more appropriate to our climate, to our region, and in a way this, this is like a showcase how uh, a good way of landscape in California is because of water, because of so many things. The water savings will be realized once the garden is established. Water savings is seen the most outside. This switch will allow the Nelsons to save up to 60% in their outdoor landscape watering, especially during the hot summer months. This landscape, once it's matured, it needs time to settle in and let those roots grow into the soil. But once it's established, it will use just over 10,000 gallons of water per year. That's a huge savings. The newly installed plants and trees have space to grow and mature, and as the roots begin to spread, the plants will get larger over time. And in half a year, there will be significant differences in how it looks now compared to next spring. Plants will be lush, trees will have grown a bit, and the spaces in between will fill. It's, uh, I would say, within six months to a year, it's going to already look much fuller. This, this is going to look fantastic. Um, I would encourage people to definitely go with this type of a yard because it's low maintenance. Our gardener was a little disappointed. He no longer gets to mow our yard or trim our bushes. <laughs> For the most part, I think it's just going to be awesome to see how this grows and develops over the next five years. In two weeks, the Nelson's entire front yard was completely transformed. To do this, we used lots of mulch and compost and installed California native and drought tolerant plants, plus yards and yards of drip irrigation to efficiently water the plants. The water savings that will be realized is more than an estimated 33,000 gallons of water. We're just I'm in awe of the, um, of the wonderful job that was done by Martine and by the city of Roseville and uh, Cheryl. Our yard looks beautiful. To learn more about this transition or to get information about available water efficiency programs, visit roseville.ca.us slash sustain the gains.